Um, I'd like to basically take a little bit more of a um, macro approach or a, a look behind the scenes and think about um, the, the structures that create that immune system. And in fact, um, I felt it was very interesting that um, the, the um, a colleague from Washington mentioned that um, you know there is no um, that the, the um, pro access providers or the ISPs are not voluntarily switching on certain functions for the better of them all, and I think that is actually um, not the historic way the internet and internet governance developed. I think you know running code, rough consensus, um, innovation without permission—all these are um, classic terms that um, really depend on cooperation and on um, the different actors and stakeholders working together and um, we were asked to, to provide um, or focus on one specific um, piece of danger that we see for the continuation of this great success story that is the internet and um, I think um, my fear would be that we get to some kind of a central gatekeeper that exercises more control over the internet um, and uh, I um, really much appreciated the um, comment from uh, the colleague from the European um, Commission. She said, um, you know, she's part of that environment um, and, you know, basically the politicians, the private sector and the civil society have to work together to make this happen. So um, the point I wanted to stress is um, that internet governance is a process and it um, should be a, a cooperative process between the different stakeholders. Um, as an analogy and maybe a um, recommendation for, for reading, um, Jeanette Hoffman published a great piece um, comparing the governance systems of the um, financial uh, systems and uh, the internet, basically you know, alluring to the fact that um, if we don't take care and get the internet governance topic right, then um, we're steering towards a similar scenario that we have seen with the financial sector. Now, that doesn't mean, um, you know, I'm asking for the internet to be regulated, quite the contrary. I think, you know, the, the um, combination and the agreements, exactly that voluntary nature is what we want to find in, in consensus scenarios rather than, um, yeah, either letting completely loose or um, having outsiders, let's say, which is the, um, the politicians that are, um, of course, concerned with the best for the people, but are not running the services, so they're not as deep into all these technical issues that have been mentioned before. So um, the, um, there's the open, neutral architecture, the layered um, approach, end-to-end -end design, and the open standards that make up the, the internet governance um, scenario that we have right now and uh, in particular I'd like to, to point out four um, principles because that was um, what we laid out in the, um, uh, in the description and in the, the setup of the workshop that um, uh, we at Google believe are, are essential to, for the internet to um, continue in the way that uh, it evolved so far and so successfully. So uh, no blocking or degrading of lawful internet traffic so basically everything besides spam and um, you know, very specifically defined um, traffic that is legal should not be blocked. Second, uh, no anti-competitive behavior. So um, no favoring of your own traffic and um, similar arrangements. Third, uh, transparency of um, relevant information. So um, basically if traffic management takes place, um, the information should be very clear to the user what kind of um, traffic management is taking place, when and for what reasons. I would add in a personal capacity that ideally there should be real time. You want to know, okay, now my Skype video chat is um, changing to voice only because there is you know, too much traffic in the, the counterpart somewhere um, in between the route. This is the kind of detail. I would like to see and I think would be very helpful um, for developments in general. And last, um, as a last resort, obviously um, governments have the means to, um, produce, to um, conduct oversight and uh, enforce the rules that have been um, agreed upon. So, uh, for example, in the US, Google has joined the Broadband Internet uh, Technical Advisory Group, um, BITTAC, and these kind of um, Again, cooperative setups are, um, I think, what 
um, yeah, are, is the future and, and is, a, um, a, is a very stable and good approach for um, uh, keeping the internet stable or evolving in the way that we want it to go. And um, maybe just as a small pointer also, the, um, in the context of the IGF, there is the um, Dynamic Coalition on Internet Rights and Principles, which of course tries to, on the one hand, transpose human rights to the um, online scenario, but is also concerned with defining um, the principles that are um, actually underlying mostly on the technical sphere. And I think we would um, yeah, get one step uh, further um, in this development if at the IGF in the context of this group and um, the wider IGF discussions we would make progress on defining these principles that we want to see. Thank you.